Lisa Cartelli has been to hell and back when she was just nine years old. She was a few feet from a furnace in her grandparents' basement when it exploded into a ball of fire. Well, the house was flattened, but somehow Lisa made it out alive. And today, she runs a camp for little girls with scars just like hers. I'm Ruby Munoz, and I was born at three years old. I was in a car crash. I'm fine now. I was in a house fire, and I'm good now. Thank you. I was burned with hot grease. I'm fine now. Thank you. I had a fire burn accident on Halloween. I'm healing pretty fast, so I can't complain. Take a close look at each one of these beautiful girls. Some of their scars are more apparent than others, but they've all gathered here to heal, together. I see them arrive, and they're wounded. They have a social armor on them, and in each one of those girls, I see me. For Lisa Cartelli, this is personal. She was just nine years old when she was badly burned in a natural gas explosion at her grandparents' home in Detroit. There was a gas leak that had been leaking for a few days, and um, my sister and I arrived at the home for dinner, and I went down to the basement to play hide-and-go-seek. Lisa was in the wrong place at the wrong time when the gas met the light on the furnace. The explosion goes off, and I hear the screams of my family, the horrific screams, and, and I, a sense of urgency of survival kicks in. I saw a hole in the back of the house at the top of the stairs with really bright light, and I just started climbing over bricks and, and nails and furniture and everything to get out. I got out of the house. I'm still on fire, my back and, and um, my face and my hair. This is where the rubber meets the road, girls. Lisa founded the Angel Faces Retreat, now in its ninth year, to teach these young women in just one week what took her two decades to come to grips with. I am so proud of all of you girls. They begin by sharing the good, the bad, and the downright ugly. I want to hear from you girls and you can just, just bring it on all out. Some of the names that, that you're called. Hideous, Burn Face, Krusty Crab, Burn Bitch. They called us Burnt Toast. Each girl participates in individual and group therapy. They make arts and crafts, play sports, even learn how to enhance their appearance with corrective cosmetics. You know, there's nothing wrong, we tell the girls, in taking what beauty you have and making it more beautiful. And you know what? Sometimes that's all it takes for them to sit up a little taller. Wow. To feel comfortable in their own skin, Cartelli urges her girls to share their stories so they can better respond to the uninvited stares and questions from strangers. It's important that the girls know that they're not burn survivors. It's important that they know they're not the burn girl. They're girls first. And that's my message to the girls that I want them to take back. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN, reporting.